What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix skipping frames or dropping frames in Streamlabs OBS. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this is gonna be a short video because this is really easy to fix. Um, so basically what, what you wanna do is come down here to your settings on the bottom left, um, which I'm sure you've been to this menu. And you wanna come down to the advanced settings tab and then you wanna scroll down until you see um, network. And then here is where you want to look and see if you have, which I'm sure you do, uh, dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. Now, what this is going to do is dynamically, it's literally going to change your bitrate um, when those skipped or dropped frames start to come in. So, um, if a point comes up where you're starting to skip or drop frames, what it's going to do instead of dropping frames and just skipping them is it's going to lower your bitrate to um, a place that can uh, make sure it still gets those frames out to the viewer. Um, but it's just going to lower the quality, sometimes a good bit. Um, but it can be better to just lower the quality um, at times like that dynamically. It's not like you have to do it yourself. Uh, just, it'll just do it automatically. Um, but I think it's better than just completely skipping frames where you don't see anything. Um, I think it's better to just maybe have it dynamically change and have the quality drop whenever those skipped frames um, kind of happen. So then you don't actually miss miss any of the action. It just gets worse quality. So. Um, that's a really nice setting there that can really help you fix your skipped frames. Now, if you turn this on and you are still having issues like skipped frames or the quality just gets so terrible that it's pretty much a skipped frame, um, which that can happen, um, then you might just want to look at turning your bitrate down um, because that just means you're probably using too high of a bitrate for your upload speed in most cases. But um, by turning this on, this setting can really help if you just have a little bit of skipping frame issues or dropped frames. Um, I really recommend turning on dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames because there's nothing worse than a skippy uh, live stream. So it's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this little short tip and thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.